Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Horizon Workrooms has absolutely surprised me when it launched last week. And well, you can watch my video here. In today's video, I'm going to check out how a keyboard is being tracked by Horizon Workrooms. And just for this video, I bought the Apple Magic Keyboard because this is one of the three keyboards which is actually supported by Horizon Workrooms. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. All right, here we are already in workrooms. This is, by the way, my avatar, and I'm still impressed by the mouth movements that the Oculus avatars make, even though there is no mouth tracking. Amazing. But now, let's check out the keyboards that are actually supported. And I've already yeah, chosen the Apple Magic keyboard here because that is what I bought here for this. But the Apple MacBook Pro, the Apple Magic keyboard, and the Logitech K8 Three zero are also supported. Right, okay, so Apple Magic Keyboard, yep, this is the European version, complete setup, and it's tracking already. Yeah, very nice, here it is. I can see it in virtual reality, and you can see it as well now, and when my hands are actually above it, I do get some kind of pass-through, and I do see my, my real fingers. You can tell this here by the ring, right? Because the avatar, it doesn't wear a ring. But if I change my hands towards me, then these are again the comic hands. Yeah, and this tracking works just so nice. Interesting that they um, yeah change to pass through when I am above the keyboard. But well, yeah, then probably I can just exactly see where where my fingers are on the keyboard. So that already works great and uh, let me let me change the position now of this keyboard. So I'm changing it now and it does move like the real one, but I do think it's um it's not being tracked in such high frequency. You know, it's not like instantaneously Right, it's but it's 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 definitely good enough because you're not always like changing your keyboard, right? So it is a bit stuttery when it's moving around, not perfectly fluent, but yeah, I I truly believe that this is really good enough since normally your keyboard is simply going to be at the same spot, right? You're not going to move it along all the time. So this is cool already. And what happens now when I lift it up? Will it still be tracked? Let's simply try that out. So, yep, I can take this into the air and I can move this. Yep, I, that's cool. Yeah, okay, but not always. So this is not perfect. It's not meant to be moved. Yeah, it's meant to stay here. <laughs> stay here on the virtual desk. So that is good enough for me, absolutely. And now, let's write something. Let's really use that. And for that, I'm going to open my desktop. And now I have to confirm it on my computer. Let me do that for a moment. All right, start a new document, blank. Simply want to type something. And something that I also didn't show you, actually, you can increase the size of this virtual screen. And let me do that right now. So I could share the screen, of course. We know that, like to there, right? So other people can see it, but I don't want to do that, actually. I want to increase the screen size. And when you increase the screen size, well, then you have a bigger screen, and then it should actually be no problem whatsoever to work here, even with the Quest 2, which has a good resolution, but it's not as high as something like the VR3, which is meant for working, right? But this is actually really good and good enough. Anyways, now let me try, let me use this keyboard like I would normally do. So, okay, here we are. And um, hello, this is a test. MRTV is very, very good. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. That works. That works. And yeah, I can I could without a problem actually use it. It's it's beautiful. It is really cool. Um yeah, I could actually I could write a whole long text with it without a problem. And um I could actually stay in VR for a long time and use that. Now, what I would hope for the next versions, and I'm quite sure that is going to happen, is like multiple screens that you could set up here, not just one, but probably second screen here and a third screen there. That would be amazing. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to happen. Anyways, let me type a bit more and yes without any problem I can type whatever I want but well yeah I can type blindly anyways <laughs> right so I could I, I, I wouldn't need that because I, I can type blindly as well, but lots of lots of people probably cannot do that. Yeah, so this is really cool and it works very well. Not so smooth if you if you like change the keyboard's position, but again, good enough. Anyways, there is a really, really cool mode that I all that I showed you last time already. And that is the pass-through mode. If you have a keyboard that is not supported by workrooms, then you can simply use the pass-through mode. And I do want to show you the pass-through mode as well. So let me um, let me simply change this up. And let's my keyboard isn't listed. Okay, so now it's not being tracked. And let me now change to my other keyboard, which actually is not supported at all. And now. I can simply use the pass-through mode. Okay, now. And now I do see my actual keyboard. And I know that you cannot see this right now in, in this streaming. But you know what? I'm going to show you a through the lens video right now how this actually looks like. So here we are through the lens of the Quest 2. And as you can tell, I can see the mouse, I can see the keyboard, and if I look up, I would see the virtual environment. So this is some kind of mixed reality, perfect here on Mixed Reality TV. And impressive that this works on the Quest 2. So as you can tell, this works brilliantly. I totally love that pass-through mode. And let's also just type something. Okay, I have to connect again with my computer. And again, let me confirm that. Okay, here we go. So this is now the keyboard that I'm used to. And let me type again here now. Hello, this is a test MRTV. Okay, this works so well. And I must honestly tell you, I would even prefer the past remote, I think. First of all, yeah, it's more smooth if you really need to yeah, move your keyboard around, but that's not important. You can simply use the keyboard that you're used to. Like I'm used to my keyboard, right? And well, I bought the Apple Magic Keyboard, which is great as well, but I'm used to my normal one and it works so well with my normal one. And I can even see my mouse. And that is something that I don't have if I use the mode where this Magic Keyboard, for example, is recognized. So yeah. The pass-through mode is fantastic and you don't need to buy a new keyboard just because you want it to be recognized in virtual reality in Horizon Workrooms because the pass-through mode is simply so great. And that's it already for this video. A very short one for today, but I simply want to show you how Horizon Workrooms can track, for example, the Magic Keyboard because some of you had asked for exactly me showing off this functionality. And it's fantastic, but pass-through mode is also really good. You don't need to buy the Magic Keyboard again. I'm so looking forward for future versions 
of the software because it will obviously just get better with probably multiple screens and even more options. And yeah, in my opinion, you can absolutely work in Horizon Workrooms. And again, thumbs up from me. If you enjoyed this video, I would also be very happy about a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, then absolutely do that now if you're interested in virtual reality. And now I want to hear from you. Have you already checked out Horizon Workrooms? Do let me know down in the comment section. And that is everything that I got for today. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.